some point in time, you'd have to know that the question would come up. And that question, of course, is what you guys are going to see at the end of this segment. From each other, Ernest. Right. Yes. The point I'm making is that that's exactly the point I was trying to make earlier, is that while she cares about other issues that are very important, and I agree with her on, on several of those issues, she's being platformed only when it comes to particular issues that are divisive, that are transphobic, that, that do not They're show not the full nuance of her explored interest. It's not so transphobic it to think six foot four inch biological males Why is should not be competing being against women. With Pride Month? Why are you conflating race with gender, Pierce? I'm just asking you a question, thing. Ernest. That's intellectually dishonest. Intellectually if I identify... Dishonest. That's intellectually dishonest. Maybe. But it's a question you don't want to answer, isn't it? If, if, if self-identity is limitless... Because if I'm race now is a not black the same man as gender. called Ernest. Because race Am is I? not the same as gender. Am not I a black man? Not only are we going to be talking about the lack of logic here, not only are we going to be talking about the craziness, not only are we going to be talking about which craziness is actually lack of logic, but not only are we going to be talking about the situation that, of course, led to what you guys saw at the very beginning of the video, we're also going to be talking about this situation involving a certain charity and the, uh, let's just say, ovarian cancer, because, by the way, that was a very, very big deal, and it's really and truly uh, fascinating how it was that we got to this point. But make sure you guys stick around for the entire piece. It's going to be a relatively lengthy one, but we got a lot to discuss. I don't know if these people are brainwashed. I don't know if it's uh, bravado. I don't know if it's trying to push, uh, how do I say, look, we all know it's an agenda, but the thing is this right here, at some point in time, you got to ask the question, are these people being illogical and irrational because they are in fact illogical and irrational, which by the way, if you give these people a platform, eventually it will create illogical, irrational people, or is it possible that once again, it's just a great big giant grift? The reason why I say grift is because obviously when you're in the online world, you're going to be accused of being a grifter. It's just the way it is. Now, you guys know me, I oftentimes love to leave the mistakes in the videos in, so that way you guys can kind of get a glimpse of who I really and truly am. I don't try to hide anything at all, but still at the same time, though, we do got to ask that question. However, before I go any, for, uh, any further, I got to say this. This interview right here went completely off the rails, and what I mean by interview is I mean all three panelists, including the guy that you just saw, arguing with Pierce Morgan, Riley Gaines, and the lady in the green. I oftentimes forget about the guy with the very, very odd hair. It's almost like he's a complete total non-factor, but he will be discussed in this video too. So you can go ahead and say right now that's actually four on the panel, not three. Like I said before, I oftentimes leave my mistakes in the videos. What happened here? Well, the topic of six foot four males competing in women's sports, Pride Month obviously came up. And once again, though, we are here to have a conversation to see if these people are brainwashed or not. Which is kind of interesting, especially given the fact that I recently did a video on a woke feminist who, by the way, I'm going to go ahead and play this clip for you guys now. It's going to be a header of it because it is TMZ and they do love to throw copyright claims around. A lot of people were shocked with your, you know, endorsement of Donald Trump. I mean, mm -hmm. you're all about women's rights issues. I mean, what was the reason for the big change? Is Donald Trump not for women's rights issues? I mean, I, I guess a lot of people were He's asking. He's trying to make America great again. That's for women too, right? That's true. I mean, okay. well, I mean, there you go. I know. Does him getting convicted like change the way you nope. view him? Not at all. I mean, Still do you think it'll help his Trump. chances like getting like reelected or like you'll? I think him? it helps him more. I oh, think it, it helps actually him more. Helps. Yeah, absolutely. I think people see the injustice and in what happened, and they want to vote for him more than ever. I know. I wanted to ask you. So it seems like a lot of celebrities are kind of like voting for Trump now. I mean, why do you think people are kind of like changing their way of like- I think we're just, voting? we just did our research and we're just, you know, we're not brainwashed anymore by the left. Um, I can say that about myself. All these years I've been brainwashed and I'm not anymore. No. To me, that Miss Amber Rose's conversion uh, at least looks real on the surface. By the way, I've already done a video on that, and I mentioned it before, on what I think really happened in the case when she decided to endorse Trump, but also something else, too. The two main issues that she cited were abortion, saying that Donald Trump had the most reasonable position, that were there being get it back to the states. And the other one is, uh, how do I say this? Oh, that's right, the topic of women's sports. It seems to me that that there would probably create a lot more base red pill conservatives than you might would think. But still at the same time, though, given the fact, given the craziness that we're dealing with today, it doesn't surprise me that this little topic went off the rails. Now, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to this and see exactly how it was that we got to the moment of Pierce Morgan basically asking this guy if he could uh, 
identify as black. Is this being conflated with Pride Month, Pierre? Why? It's not being conflated. Why is she here talking about, why is she in the conversation around Pride Month? Uh, she wasn't. She was in the conversation about why? her book, which then led to a conversation right. about it's Pride a, no, Month. No, but she's talking, but she's also because in a Pride conversation Month about Pride Month. Why is there a conflation there? Pride Month has, Pride Month affects oh, because every that's single the, because it goes align with your far right agenda. Why and that's why right. you're bothered. She's not far that's right. That's the issue that we're talking about. Right. I think he's talking about. Ernest, let me ask you. you Ernest, me, Ernest, why do we have to have... Right. I want to ask Ernest a question. Why do we have to have a month of pride? Go ahead. Why? Because the reason why is because it's people like you who don't understand why we really have it. It's not really about no, sexuality. It's so about allowing me. people explain who are like myself who don't feel like they're being represented or being protected in a world and a society. Okay, so right off the bat, there's a lot of lies and a lot of BS right there. First and foremost, these people are protected. And you guys know my position when it comes to the Pride Coalition and the Alphabet community. I have a problem with anybody personally. I'm not against the old bruising of kids. I'm not against that. And obviously, I don't like the agenda. And I obviously don't like the wokeness of films. However, there's probably another explanation for why in the world they decided to do that. I mean, like Razor Fist said, and I'm agreeing, it's not really get woke, go broke. It's really get broke, then go woke. But that's a different topic altogether, and we'll probably discuss that in another video, especially when I decide to start doing more pop culture videos because I haven't really done them in a while, and I'd kind of like to actually do them to kind of mix in what we're doing now. The thing is this right here. No group in this country at this moment in time, really no group in the world has got more protections on them than, say, that particular community. I mean, these people have actually dedicated a brand new month to you, and every single company or corporation has sort of bowed down to what it is that uh, you're demanding, which I also find extremely odd how it was that only about three or four percent of the country can be actually controlling the actual voting of the nation and actual policies. By the way, that same little three or four percent group, do I need to say exactly what you guys are seeing here in the B-roll footage? And in a lot of ways, you're actually doing a lot more harm than you are good by simply uh, bringing all this stuff up and throwing it in people's faces. Don't worry, there will be more on what I just said a little bit later on the video because there's another part where this actually gets discussed. But before we go any further, let me give an example of how it is that uh, the corporations in the country actually bow down to this nonsense. Now, recently I did a video on Target and Target decided to close down the private crap depending on certain stores. It actually turned out to be most stores are not doing the whole pride thing again. There are obviously some that are and a lot of uh, uh, retail stores have actually kind of sort of adopted this mindset. You know what man, just, just put the pride stuff somewhere towards the back which makes me think at some point in time the whole pride crap will eventually just, just go away. I mean that's just my personal opinion that eventually it will move. However, there are certain corporate entities and certain things that quite frankly for whatever reason just say screw it, we got to put it out there anyways. Let me give you a good example before we get back to this little, uh, this, 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 this little uh, matchup between uh, these crazy people. So, this channel originally was a sports channel. It was originally a sports and politics channel, sports and media channel, and of course, they used to talk, uh, some of the very first videos were talking mostly about football. My favorite football team is the Green Bay Packers. Now, what does it have to do with this way? Well, earlier this year, or excuse me, earlier this month, 11 NFL teams decided not to bow down to the pride agenda. Those teams included the Pittsburgh Steelers, included the Dallas Cowboys, and it also included my team, the Green Bay Packers. However, this right here did not last for the Green Bay Packers online Twitter base, which is, by the way, mostly liberal and some of the worst ones damn near make you not want to like the team anymore, not want to follow the team anymore. They're that crazy. Uh, they decided to then start uh, pressuring the team and the shareholders because Green Bay is a publicly owned team. It's funny how it is that only about maybe 3% of a team's fan base can do this to put the pride crap back on. And, of course, the Green Bay Packers showed you that they weren't exactly based and that they would, in fact, bow to the mob. Especially given the fact that the team's general manager, Brian Gutekunst, professes to be a Christian, I actually take that as a bit of a slap in the face. And I'm not saying I'm leaving my team or anything like that. I'm just simply saying that I'm really, really, really disappointed in you. And I have to praise the Cowboys of, of all teams and the Steelers of all teams ahead of my own. The truth be told is that if you just ignore these people after a while, they will eventually go away. What the corporations are doing at this moment in time, a lot of them by basically saying, we're not going to do the pride thing this year, they're actually correct. After a while, whatever pride gear that exists, whatever pride apparel exists, eventually gets tossed to the back of the store and nobody even cares. Now, I've done a lot of videos ranting and railing about how it is they're trying to market tuck-friendly bathing suits to children and stuff like that. Obviously, I've done several videos on that, and obviously, I stand by every single one of those takes. 
But the point is this right here. After a while, if you just ignore it, it's kind of like Freddy Krueger. Eventually, it does go away. But let's get back to this. In a world and a society where people like Riley gets a platform to spew misinformation. What's, what's the misinformation? Representation What's is the misinformation, important. Ernest? The misinformation about gender. Tell me like one thing she said. Like Tell me one thing she said that's wrong. Weaponizing transgender people. Tell me as one an thing on she women. said, Ernest. That's that wrong. is just the biggest. Ernest. And I just said that. Ernest. And I just no, said no. it. I think it's Say, the vibe. I want you to right? correct you one thing she said that was wrong. Can you hear? Yeah. Answer me. <laughs> so, transgender people's existence does not threaten the existence well, Ernest, of Ernest, it, it kind of does, especially given the fact that she's ranted and raved about Riley Gaines having a platform. Riley Gaines is the same person who, by the way, had to live with this throughout the entire uh, Leah Thomas ordeal, William Thomas, Bill Thomas, uh, whatever you might want to call it. She had to go through that, and of course, her, and not just her, but her locker room, all the girls in there, they had to put up with a grown-ass man inside the locker room. I think that Riley Gaines is more than qualified to speak about this issue. And as far as replacing women is concerned, I kind of find it odd how it is. And I've been saying this for a while, that the women need to step up because I think that that's actually the goal here, whether these people know it or not. But as I said before, there is a caveat to this that these people don't seem to want to mention or they very, very conveniently leave out that we will get to towards the end of the video. It's going to be going back to what I showed you guys in the B-roll footage, but let's keep going. Are you no one has said that. Are Nobody said that. But it is the vibe, you though, isn't it? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. No, 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 no. That, that, that no. is the vibe no, of this whole thing. No, no, no. It is, no. though. That's definitely I'm the vibe. I'm sorry. I'd say that's the vibe of your whole Ernest, channel, actually. Ernest, 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 nobody has ever that's said that. No one said that. It's the vibe. I support trans after rights to fairness and equality. You, that, we, you, after, are, no, you cannot think of a single thing. After that. All right, I'm asking after. you one more time. Tell me one thing Ask Riley after. Gaines has said, this far right lunatic who's lying apparently. Tell me one thing she said that is actually factually untrue. Like I said before, <laughs> trying to position you can't answer, can and you? over index transgender people in sports. I said it again over indexing the role of okay, transgender then, people in sports as if it poses a threat to cisgender women. Cisgender? That's, that's I've got a BS. question for you then, Ernest. Why aren't we seeing women infiltrate Go into men's sports? Yeah, of course we're not. Because they can't compete. You don't see any trans if, if men going into men's sport, do you? Because This right here is hundred percent true. You don't see too many women trying to go into men's sports. You just don't see it because women know that they would get killed which is part of the reason why it is there's people like me who exist on this platform and try to call this stuff out. But there's one more thing I need to say, and I'm pretty sure that you guys have already picked up on it and I haven't mentioned it till now, but it becomes a bit of a trend throughout the rest of this interview, which we're about halfway done with, or a little bit more than halfway done with. This guy, Ernest, can't seem to, how do I say, he can't seem to provide an actual answer to any of the questions. That's going to be a bit of a trend here throughout the rest of the interview, so stay tuned. Let's get back to it. <laughs> And I don't. Ernest, I, 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 I'm trying to figure out what, sure are, there what are you trying to say. There are. There are no I mean, trans men to say that trans women are not sport. women. It doesn't happen. No, it doesn't trans exist. women are not. No, women. I want to hear this. Trans women are she men. She does not believe that transgender women are women. Because they're not. Right. And they're they're not, not for the long yes, time. I think we, well. we should get into they that. Not they are not. And they are not. Please, please stop. Please stop abusing women by calling us cisgender. Women are just women, right? Anything else? So see how she said abusing women. So she does not. That doesn't make you a woman. I can't believe we have to have this conversation. You know where this takes you, Ernest? She's abusing. These are far. These are far. These are far right. Even biological reality. Oh, yes. you know right. this, is that, is is that it? Here's what hey, is my... If hang I'm on, a transphobe, then you are a misogynist. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, pride month. That's complete nonsense. The ovarian cancer UK. If I'm a transphobe, you're a misogynist. That right there is something that no feminized man will hear. By the way, I need to go ahead and say this. Uh, to all the ladies out there, the very, very few that do watch my channel, which, by the way, you're so obviously brave and based, and I appreciate you guys sticking around. I want to go ahead and say this really quick. Male feminists tend to be the most dangerous kind of men. Feminized men are the most dangerous kind of men because they're extremely overly emotional. That's one thing that I do 100% fully agree with Andrew Tate on, which I understand the ladies probably got pissed off that I mentioned that name, but still at the same time, you guys know me. I oftentimes leave the mistakes in and give you guys the unadulterated truth the best I can within YouTube's freaking community guidelines. But still at the same time, though, 
it's pretty daggone obviously obvious what's going on here. But I want to go ahead and say one more thing, too. And see, I normally don't go this far into this topic because of YouTube's community guideline standards. But the thing is this right here, and I, I kind of, I can't believe I didn't say this right before in previous videos. The term man, or as in like uh, men, I know it came out funny when I said it right there, but still at the same time, but the term men, it's a word. Obviously, I'm a man. If you have a bunch of me, then obviously we are men. Basically, what they have done is they've tried to hijack the word itself. In reality, what we really are is male. Same thing with female. And the thing about this whole cis crap that really bugs me is that it's just, how do I say, so freaking made up, so freaking stupid. Then again, at the same time, these are also the same people who now refer to women as birthing people and also refer to Hispanics as Latinx. A phrase that these people do not like. You see, eventually the left will start to lose women. Yeah, I understand young women are swinging to the left. But as those women begin to get older, like in their mid to late 20s, to early 30s, after a while they get cut off by this nonsense. Hence, Hannah Kasparian, of all people, ultimately being done with the left. But we haven't talked about her in a while, but I'm pretty sure we will soon. But let's get back to this. Ernest, and, and keep quiet for a moment. Wall, Ernest, please stop talking. I'm reading something. I love you, Ernest. The Ovarian Cancer UK tweeted today. Love you too. Did you know that anyone with ovaries, regardless of gender identity, can be at risk for ovarian cancer? Let's raise awareness by asking, can men get ovarian cancer? Uh, James Barr, men can't get ovarian cancer because men don't have ovaries. What is a leading you... cancer charity doing to asking this stupid question? What are you doing attacking a charity? Uh, because I think that is attacking women. Why are you attacking a charity? Well, I'll tell you why. Because a woman then actually messaged me who has you're, terminal you're ovarian about... cancer, who says the idea of being on a tiny ward with somebody identifying as a woman okay. next to her who actually has a penis and is a man, right, fills her with utter horror. Because of all the nonsense her last and fear-mongering that this platform is creating. No, she's a woman. Listen doesn't want to be around men. Listen right. to me. When she's dying, Peer. listen to me, Peer. in an ovarian... Peer. Now, at the very beginning of the video, I put this little segment in talking about this little charity. And, of course, you're talking about ovarian cancer. And then the topic then becomes, uh, can men have ovarian cancer? Well, last I checked, men, males, don't have ovaries. So, therefore, it's pretty daggone obvious that... Uh, no, you can't get ovarian cancer, but of course, the guy with the very, very odd hair, who, by the way, happens to be a part of the alphabet community as well, uh, this guy right here obviously does not seem to understand the logic. Or it could be what I said in response to what was actually said. Uh, they don't really and truly seem to care. Something else, too, you got to understand. I'm going to say it one more time. How does Pierce Morgan's wife leaving him for two weeks, how does that equate? That, that, that's a... It's a pretty weak thing to actually say. I, I, I'm just pointing that out. If you're a woman and you've got ovarian cancer, I want you to just sit back and think on something really quick. How bad do you feel that money is being diverted to somebody who claims they have ovarian cancer when they don't have ovaries? Or how bad do you feel that a charity is prioritizing somebody who doesn't have ovaries or including people who don't have ovaries, men, of course, how does that make you feel that they're including them in, in their charity? It just seems to me like a great big giant waste of money, but let's continue. If I decide here. to drink, if I decide to drink oat milk, here. that doesn't mean that actual milk is no longer, is, is being threatened, okay? He's and in this case, this charity want to raise He's awareness about maybe 1%, if that, of people that could suffer from ovarian cancer. So how many aren't... men, okay, let me ask you, how many men have ovaries? I have no idea, Piers. Here. I'm no. not in that how situation. Many? How many? But they Hold put on. it in their tweet, it's, if you read it properly, it actually says, no men, no men, no men have ovaries. Well, according no to women. a charity that a work in this field, no they do. Men so have why don't you take ovaries. Out of the charity? No women have penises. Well, according to the charity, who I think probably know more about ovaries than you do, because they clearly you don't. are a woman, Piers. They neither clearly am I. don't. Sorry, look, you know so much about women. Your wife took a two-week break from you, so I don't know why we're listening to you talking what? about women constantly. Can we just get back to the fact that? They are trying to help someone. So your answer to everything is, Pierce, your wife left you for two weeks. You don't need to be lecturing women. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to the other half of this here in a second. But I just, I, I just find it very, very odd how it is that these people don't really have an answer for the logic that they're spinning, which, by the way, also to a certain degree makes me think that it's really just a great big giant grift. 
However, the problem with the grift is that they have created a lot of people who really and truly do believe this. It's almost like the phrase, you know, movies don't create psychos. You know, movies just make psychos more creative. It's almost like that there. It's almost like these people are making people who have mental illnesses just crazier than what they really actually are, which is kind of odd too, especially given the fact that uh, it seems kind of convenient given the fact that mental illnesses themselves have been going up for the past few decades. Just saying. My That's wife did what, did you say? Didn't you have a sabbatical from each other? No, it was actually a lot longer than two weeks. <laughs> was it? Yeah. How I recommend it? it warmly. I wouldn't okay. buy one from you. Um, <laughs> let me bring Riley back in. Riley, oh, this is the goodness. trouble. When you ask it's specific questions, Ernest, stop shouting. Everybody, uh, the conversation is clear. Yes, go on, go oh, okay. on, Ernest. So I got to be quiet, but... Go on, Ernest. The, the, in a nutshell, the, the larger point I'm making here is that the reason why I'm saying transphobia is because it's clear on this panel that you all, a lot of you all on this panel believe that there is only one type of woman, which is cisgender women, and anyone else does not prescribe to that definition. There's absolutely you zero logic in what was just said. All right. Transphobia is when you actually have a serious fear of people who are trans. Saying that a person has, I don't know, a person who has been born with a penis is a male, and a person who has been born with a vagina, an adult human female, is a woman, is not transphobia. It never has been transphobia. But then again, at the same time, though, if you say it's not transphobia, YouTube and the Google gods will find a way to limit your ads. But, 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 what was the real point of this video? Well, the point of this video was to go back to what you guys saw at the very, very, very beginning of this video. And it's this segment here. Transphobic. Here's what you I believe. You only believe that Let cisgender women honest. are women and everyone okay, else are there different is types not of included black in people? the conversation. Or oh, is black just black? It's called this. It's called uh, that, that, that's because you don't know that? it's because Caribbean, black is just Jamaican. black. Just like there is no such thing as cisgender and transgender. There are just women. You can you can embellish your titles whatever you want. Why are you complaining about gender? Let me ask you this, Ernest. Let me ask you this. Why are you complaining about gender? Hang on, hang on. Don't all shout, Ernest. Let me ask you this. If I now identify as a black man, am I a black man? You had to know that somebody was going to ask the question at some point in time. Can I identify as black, even though I'm obviously not black? Now, of course, the response is going to be, how do you conflate race with gender? And my response to that is this right here. A lot of people don't know this, but if you actually identify as a different race, that can actually be a sign of a mental illness. The exact same way that, you know, is a mental illness. I'm just quoting what the DSM says. That's all hell I'm doing. But of course, like I said before, community guidelines and standards. But here's the thing, though. Watch the guy's response, because to me, the guy's response is extremely telling. Why are you conflating race with gender, Pierce? I'm just asking you a question, thing. Ernest. That's intellectually dishonest. Intellectually if I identify... That's intellectually dishonest. Maybe, but it's a question you don't want to answer, isn't it? If, if, if self-identity is limitless... Because... If I'm race now is a not black the same man as gender. called Ernest. Because race am is I, not the same as gender. Am I a black man? If I'm, say it again. Am I a black man Listen, if I say I'm a black you man? Can be... Am I? No, because okay. you're a white man, because Thank it's you. race. So you don't... Because... What was that again? Ma'am. Say it again. Am I a black man Listen, if I say I'm a black you man? Can be... Did you guys see how it was that he pretty much almost said he was about to say it? I'll play it one more time for you. Ma'am. Say it again. Am I a black man Listen, if I say I'm a black you man? Can be... Am I? No, because okay. you're a white man, because Thank you. it's race. So you don't because respect my right to identify as a black man, do you? Do you think it's ridiculous? You can identify as a black man. You can identify as a black man, Pierce, but I know you lean on white privilege more than... This guy was literally about to say, you can identify as anything you want before he finally got caught, which makes me automatically wonder if this entire situation has been real. Basically, the point is this right here. There are true believers in that there are those who actually grip and that there are those that actually lie about things. And of course, they love to use terms. But of course, at the same time, though, it also shows you that these people have not logically thought about what they really and truly feel. And they're trying to spread this type of illogical nonsense to the entire world. I mean, I used to be against not spreading this type of stuff, but now I look at the entire situation. I'm saying to myself, I'm glad people exist to debunk this stuff. I'm glad I actually kind of like a, created my own YouTube channel to kind of help debunk a lot of this nonsense too, which by the way, we're going to continue to make content going forward in the future after I got all this health stuff uh, taken care of. But still, the point is this right here. 
you guys can obviously see that the logic is not there or they are intentionally pushing what they know to actually be completely and totally illogical. You guys tell me in the comment section. I'm going to want to hear what you guys have got to say on that. But there is one more thing that does need to be said before I close this video. And this goes back to what I mentioned earlier. Here's that last point. And I want you guys to tell me where I'm at on this right here because I really truly want to get you guys' opinions on this. Did you think that maybe the self-termination rate for that community is high for a reason? You see, with this and glorifying this, what you're doing is you're putting these people out there to uh, be ridiculed, to be shamed, and to eventually be made fun of. I said ridiculed earlier, but you're also putting these people out there to be looked down upon. It's almost like you're using them as like a sacrificial lamb and you don't really and truly know it. It's almost like it's, it's a good way of saying that they're actually trying to sacrifice these people because think about it really quick. That self-determination rate exists for a reason. It exists because these people obviously have all kinds of other issues, and of course, these people need help. They need actual, honest-to-God help, not glorification. Glorifying this stuff will only make these people regret it later on, and it will only increase the stress levels in their body. It will only increase anxiety, depression, all that type of stuff, which, by the way, sends people to what I was just mentioning earlier. Sounds to me like it's pretty daggone twisted and evil. And also something else, too, that needs to be said. Uh, you're also telling these people by, um, how do I say this? You're also telling them that you don't want them to reproduce. The reason why I say you're telling them that they don't want them to reproduce is because when you are a man, or excuse me, when you are a woman and you decide to destroy your natural hormones to be able to reproduce, or if you're a man who actually destroys your hormones and gets your cut off so that way you can't reproduce, uh, that's basically them telling you that uh, they want you to die out. That right there is actually the sad reality of this entire movement, the sad reality of the whole uh, pride thing. It's a grift, yes, but it's an extremely dangerous one. But you guys tell me what you think in the comment section. Make sure you guys please hit the like button, subscribe, share the video, sign off in the comment section, and I'll see you guys later.